talking about zone throws. Zone throws are pretty much zone throws. A uh, few things you just gotta remember about them. Uh, they got two attacks: warp lance, warp blast. The warp blast is a small assault, like small blast template. You shoot out 24 inches, strength 5, AP 3. Kind of cool, like a plasma cannon. Your BS4, so it scatters a little less. Also, warp lance, 18 range. Assault 1, this is your main tank buster. Strength 10, AP 1 lance. Very nice, very effective. Kills vehicles and land raiders and such. Uh, a few random things. Run them in squads of 2 to 3. Don't run squads of like 1. It's really bad. Uh, you want to, if you're putting them in a mycetic spore, maybe think about attaching a Tyranid Prime to them with Lash with Bone Sword. Also, when you're shooting with zone throps, it's not, oh look, here's my three zone throps shooting a land raider, and you roll one psychic test. No, you roll a psychic test for each individual zone throp. Think Chaos Sorcerers, or like the guys that lead the Thousand Sun squads for Chaos Space Marines. When you, okay, psychic shooting attack, I'm gonna doom bolt you, psychic test. If you had five sorcerers, it would be five psychic tests. For this, it's three psychic tests if you have three zone throws. Also, this helps out, you actually go past the hood better. So if people are trying to hood you or do the space wolf, the, the charm thing, four up, it doesn't work, they gotta do it for each psychic power, which makes it a lot better chance to go off, which is nice. Otherwise, good things about Zonthrop, they're ballistic skill 4, they hit on a 3. They're the best anti-tank in the game. The strength 10 AP1 lance, uh, it kills land raiders. Averagely. That's cool. Uh, you get a 3 up invuln if you peril. Ooh look, I rolled a 12 of my psychic test. Take an invuln, 3 up. Okay, take another invuln, 3 up. I'm fine. It's very nice. Uh, they're also leadership 10, so psychic test is pretty chill. You could take spores, you could put them into pods. I recommend squads to squads of two actually works out nicely. Squads of three, as I said before, attach maybe a turn to prime so they're not useless in combat. Drop down. Hey, shoot a land raider. Very effective for doing that. You could walk them, but there's gonna be one or two turns of you getting shot. All you got is a three up. So it's uh spores are a good it depends completely on what armor you're running. Spores might work sometimes, spores might not work sometimes. It depends on the list. I like them in pods, but then again, I also like them walking. They're usable in both ways. Anyway, uh, you have two attack variations, so you're flexible. So, oh look, I'm playing Horde Guard. I don't have to shoot Trent 10 AP1 lances at Guardsmen. No, you could sit there and shoot Plasma Cannons the whole game, which is still as effective, which is nice. Also, you have flexibility in what you're doing. Shoot a little template, which still kills Marines, or uh, shoot kill vehicles. Uh, you have Shadow of the Warp within 12 inches, which is very nice if you drop a pod right next to like, oh look, I have Njal Stormcaller in a Land Raider. Drop right next to the Land Raider, blow it up. Ooh, look, Shadow of the Warp. Take some nasty psychic test, Njal. Uh, he's also Synapse, which is very nice to be Synapse. Uh, so this means you're not really worrying about them going, oh look, instinctive behavior. Other than that, there are two wounds, which is kind of cool. Um, and you have a 3-up invuln in combat. I've had this happen a lot where it's like, look, actually at the last tournament, I Belial and four Lightning Claw Terminators, rah, fight uh, zone throps. Uh I have a three-up invuln. Oh, you look, you did seven power up and wounds. Here's invulns. Oh, you, you did two wounds and you killed a zone throp. Wait, what? They have a three-up invuln? Yeah, it's, it's like Storm Shield, Thunderhammer, Terminators. They don't die in combat. It's, it's lovely. I love it. Except when you get hit by orcs or something, just throws lots of dice, you're pretty much screwed. However... If, say, like a Demon Prince or something runs into you, and they're slamming at you with power up and attacks, you know what? They're not going to do a lot of damage, which is nice. Uh, another thing is, Zonthropes are Toughness 4. This is, I'm going to start talking about the problems of Zonthropes. Toughness 4. Yeah, your opponent likes to go melt a happy. Oh, look, just roll some 1s and 2s. Your Zonthropes are instantly dying. It's bad. Or, oh, look, I'm going to th start throwing some Medusa templates at you. Oh, look. Takes a, just take some invulns, man. Yeah, yeah, and then they died. The three up invulns really nice, but your toughness four, so you gotta really watch it when you get hit by strength eight weapons and up. Uh, another thing about zone throws, they're expensive. Expensive terms money wise, and expensive just in terms of points. Uh, it's kind of pricey. You start running two squads of three, you're looking at like, oh, well, that's uh, that's uh, oh, you want to put them in pods then? That's about four hundred and something points. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good for. Yeah, it get it, they get expensive because they're really, ah, there's just lots of reasons. But uh, I like to not spam them. I have run at a tournament nine zone throw ups didn't actually work out as well as it looks like it does on paper. However, um, 
It was very fun. All right, another thing, they're made of metal. Unless you do what I do and make uh, brain bugs from Half-Life 2. Uh, they're metal, and they break, and they're tall, and they're annoying to build, and they're annoying to carry, and they chip, and all that stuff. So uh, convert them out of Warriors, or you can buy 20-something dollar uh, metal floating brains that are just annoying as hell. They look nice, though. I like the 3rd edition ones. Otherwise, another downside is they have short range. Yes, the 24-inch plasma can thing, that's cool. But uh, the 18-inch warp lance, okay, turn one, move six. If you're not getting onslaughted, you're not shooting the land raider they just put in their front of their deployment. But you can onslaught them with the turbogon, run up and be like, oh, look, boom. But normally, if your opponent sees zone throw-ups, land raiders are keeping distance till he kills those zone throw-ups with various assault cannons and just other weapons he's throwing into them. So, yeah, that's kind of why pods might be a good idea then. Because the 18 inches, uh, you're not getting shots until turn 2, if then. And you're getting shot on the field for that rain, for that time. Uh, another problem is hoodless pretty much shut you down. Um, oh, look, you're playing against guard. They have Inquisition allies. They have this, yeah, uh, your psychic tests, you're getting about half of them, a little more than half of them off. Uh, you're, you're, oh, I'm running four zone throw-ups, so you may be getting off uh, one to two blast and that's and then you maybe hit with one uh yeah hoods kind of fuck you up is nasty and uh zone throps are a very obvious target which is a problem and also you don't really need cover or cover saves because the three up invuln overall though i like the zone throps uh if you want to max anti-tank for elites instead of just the stupid spam hive guard thing a squad of three zones and then two squads of three hive guard works out very nicely for just i want maximum anti-tank or two squads of two zones and pods and then some hive guard walking with your turvagon or just sitting in the back zone throps are good uh you don't spam them though if you have like two squads of zone throps that's good but when you start going over six zone throps uh they they lose their effectiveness because oh i killed your one land raider now you're shooting rhinos with zone throw-ups with strength 10 AP1 lances, when in reality you could have just used hive guard, which are a lot more durable. I'll talk about hive guard in another video, actually. Uh, not today, though. Otherwise, uh, your opponent fears zone throw-ups. He sees a zone throw-up and he goes, "Oh man, he's got warp lance." So if he, your opponent has land raiders, he he's like feared of them. So you're not getting rushed by land raider redeemers turn one. Like, oh look, blood angels playing against three land raiders. That's cool. Uh, or three or four land raiders and all these battle predators. You know what he's doing? He's sitting in his deployment zone for two turns, killing my zone throw-ups and like sniping them with battle predators because he's like, I don't want to get close to you. you. You'll kill my land raiders, which slows him down. Instead of just rushing forward and just shooting hellstorm cannons at me, he's cowering in his deployment zone from one squad of zone throw-ups. Very nice. It's a big fear unit. Uh, your opponents are just scared of them, so they're going to attract lots of fire. Had a g game against Guard, he's even got a Psychic Hood. We're playing, and he's like, Lemon Rust Demolisher, or Lemon Rust, why I said Lemon, that was bad. Uh, they're just, they just shoot so much crap into them. They're dumping plasma guns into them, they're dumping melt guns into them. When in reality, they could just tie them up with a stupid Guard Squad, or shoot them with heavy bolters, and they'll die just the same, shooting plasma guns and all these high-strength AP weapons at them. Other than that, they kill tanks with high armor value. That's the main purpose of them. They kill land raiders, those AV-13, AV-14 things. That's what they do. They kill them. Uh, zone throws aren't a must-have. They're extremely useful. They're versatile. They're good. They're synapse. You get, there's lots of ways you can use them. In most balance lists, you should see zone throw-ups. Every other tier in the player will have zone throw-ups, if not more. Uh, it's not a must-have, though. It's not like, I can't run a list without zone throw-ups. I need to have zone throw-ups. You don't need to have zone throw-ups. They're very nice to have. If I play a game and I don't have zone throw-ups and I go up against land raiders, I face palm and say, I should have brought zone throw-ups. So, they're a very good unit. I like them a lot. You should buy some right now. And actually, you should buy a box of warriors and convert them into head crabs. Yeah. And if you if anyone else makes head crab uh, zone throw-ups, just PM me. It'll just be funny. <laughs> I just want to see the pictures. So.